Top of the morning, fight fans. This is Kurt DeVille with Counterpunch Boxing News, and I have some new news concerning Lennox Lewis. Lennox Lewis states that professionals should not be in the Olympic Games. You don't play boxing like other Olympic sports. Someone could get seriously hurt, and this is not a good idea. Words from Lennox Lewis, hashtag my two cents, right? What do I say about that? I think Lennox Lewis is absolutely correct. When, you, when you're fighting professionally, you know things, you know how to hurt people, you specialize in brutality, okay, to get your opponent out of there. Certain things you do, it may not seem dirty, but it is, especially when you're dealing with racking up points as opposed to tapping or touching someone on the behalf of scoring a point. Your points in professional boxing inflict pain behind those points, okay? You have bleeding, internal bleeding, back of the head shots, no headgear. You have all types of things in the professional ranks and the professionals that Olympians don't even worry about, okay? It's a totally different sport all the way together. So having someone coming from the professional uh, ranks and going to Olympian style, you know, I think his intentions is, are different fighting someone with headgear on as opposed it doesn't matter or not. That guy still has a one up on someone that never fought as a professional and only fought as an amateur. OK, sure, you can box and move and bob and weave. But at the end of the day, you're getting hit with full on flesh leather. OK, you're dealing with someone that knows how to hurt you, that has put other people down like he's intending to put you down. Okay, so yes, it is a very bad idea. You know, it's like going backwards. It's like someone in college uh, going up against someone in the sixth grade. You know what I mean? That's not what it is. It, I don't matter, it doesn't matter how long they've been doing it. Okay, not saying they can't box, but professional boxing is more than just scoring points. Okay. Because, again, it has that brutality behind it, you know, and I'm glad Lennox Lewis came out with this because he was actually regarding this towards Andy Ruiz, now the unified champion of the world. And again, I understand that Andy Ruiz wants to represent Mexico. I understand that he's proud of his. Um, his ancestors country, you know, he spent a lot of time there, he trained there, I get it, but. For what he's doing, some certain favors shouldn't be done just because people ask you to. You know, you should know he should have enough dignity to know, hey, I can't do that. I'm the unified champion of the world. I have other obligations, possible future sponsorships. You know, I can get those by being a professional by what I did June 1st, not doing something because my uh, president or the president that I represent wants me to. You know, so I have to agree with Lennox Lewis, man, because let's say Andy Ruiz goes in there and he seriously hurts somebody. You know, how would that reflect both sports overall? You know what I mean? Him as a person, you know, and things of that matter. And, you know, and let's say he does and he let's say he doesn't. Let's go. Let's say he goes in there and he beats that opponent. Well, that opponent that breaks that opponent's progression you know, as a fighter, you know what I mean? You, you go, you, you get beat up by a professional and you're like, okay, man, you know, you know, he might want to quit after that because he hasn't took the proper steps to progress because he's in there with someone far more advanced, you know? But anyway, those are my two cents on this topic. Uh, you guys tell me what you think about Lennox Lewis's uh, comments. Of course, please subscribe and you guys been counterpunched. Peace.